and welcome to the suck finally we are here for the second half of fear the walking dead if you guys know and were watching me if you, for those of you who didn't i did do a six hour binge catching up to this moment for fear the walking dead yes i'm a day late but better late than never because by next week when we watch episode 10 we will be completely on schedule we will have no late reactions anymore hopefully that's the plan. So, um, we were left off. Alicia finding out that Strand kill Will, killed Will because Will confessed his love to Strand that he likes Alicia and, well, Strand is just the villain for this season. Uh, and the last uh, seconds of episode 8, Alicia tells Strand that it is time for war. So, Alicia and Morgan are gonna work together to take down Strand. Um, we did, I did do a reaction to the 7B trailer, um, uh, there was a lot of things that, uh, we found out. One of the main things was, Madison is back! Yes, I have to shout it because a lot of you guys called me delusional back in season 4 when she died, the, the finale or whatever it was, a lot of you guys called me crazy, called me, I, so, a lot of comments were deleted, uh, but I know for a fact in the Walking Dead universe, we always have to see a body. She has some, you know, things that happen to her, and I hope we do get to see um, in this half of the season um, what happened to her throughout these, what's it been since the, the stadium, like two years maybe? Where has she been this entire time, you know? Um, but today we are going to watch episode 9 that is for the future. Um, but yes, I'm really excited for this So, uh, let's get the chit chat and let's get to watching this episode I know you guys are what have been waiting for my reaction for some time now. So, um, yeah, let's cut it and let's get to watching this episode Oh look a, tip, a typical what is this thing called? Oh! A leash in her group, right? Wait. Hello? Hey! Hey, I'm talking to you! Alicia, that's a walker? Hey. Whoa. What What's going on? What the hell? Don't tell me that's a senator. Uh, is this a dream or real life? This looks like a dream. I was right. Where's this at? Oh my god, I'm not used to it. Wait, she does have her tattoo still. Well. What's that? Oh, earplugs. Girl, you're in, in no condition to be walking down those stairs. Um. Why is everything shaking? Okay, follow the footsteps. I guess. Okay, I see a cello. Hey. 
Oh, it, everything's shaking because this shit's so loud. Uh... The needle of the vinyl. What did you do? <laughs> Who's this guy? What did you do? Another Alicia Tider card. Yes, this is what I deserve. Hey. Hello. How did I get here? Oh, he's really ignoring her. Hey, I'm talking to you. He's he reading her, her lips. What's going on? How did I get here? You don't have to speak a lot slow to just let me into this. I knew it. Oh. This isn't the first time we have met a deaf character. We've met Kelly, we've met Connie, and this is really, really cool that they're now incorporating it in Fear the Walking Dead. I brought you here. I was coming back from a food run, found you passed out in the barn about two miles north. Good thing I came along when I did. I, I, I checked on you, saw your arm, or was that for your arm? <laughs> That's quite a statement. Oh, I like him already. I got bit. I wasn't gonna let him take it from me. I figured if it come from a bite, you would have turned by now. What's left of it didn't look infected. I wasn't in the barn. Wait. She was running? From what? I was on my way back to the people I was staying with. A girl saving her, really and go. she's not there. You dead? <gasps> you kept saying "padre" over and over in your sleep. You broke my stereo. <laughs> oh, now she's gonna have to. Yep. I'm really sorry. I I have to go. <laughs> hey, back off! Uh -oh. oh my god, I would be so scared with that arm. I swear to God, it's so ugly. I'm Paul, by the way. Hi, Paul. It's a long story. We have time. We do a lot better than that. The reason you're still breathing is because of Look, me. I returned the favor. That music you're blasting was drawing walkers. It's got the lock on a damn door game. I got the house soundproof. I can play my music as loud as I want. What? I thought you said you hadn't heard anything in months. He can feel it. When Beethoven first started going deaf, he destroyed every piano they put in front of him. Just smashed the keys like his fingers were sledgehammers. Why? Just because you can't hear music don't mean you can't feel it. I knew it. Oh, your instrument's broken. Oh, fuck. Heidi, he can't know I'm here. What? Please. Okay. 
Why is she so scared of him? What is that? Well, my mustache always kept hands of this stuff in the pantry. And if I'm being honest, I had the same reaction as you did when I first tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia. Though it didn't work, I would pause you. Big deal. You tried. And people died. Did you put a gun to their head and force them to follow you over there? There must have been a reason for you to think this is the way to go. There you go, Paul. This is why I like him. Then why beat yourself up? She had an arrangement of old you joy all figured out with old pipes. That was her dream. But she never got to play it. My hearing started growing. She thought maybe I just might be able to hear that. <laughs> that height. So damn loud. Why Wait. didn't she play the arrangement? I told her that's not how it was meant to be played, but really I I, I was just so damn mad. That he wasn't going to... going quiet. And I took it out on her. You don't have to go back to that house, you know. You don't have to live all alone like this. What else would I do? Come with me. Yes! The more people we have, the sooner we can take that place I was talking to you about. <gasps> What's wrong? They're here. No.
No. <gasps> you're gonna might find you here. Oh, shit. I'm not alone. I figured that too. Come on out. All right. Yeah, you can't hear us. It'd be way more fun. Let them punish you for what you did. Wait, wait. I want Arnold dead. I really want him to die. I don't like him. Wait. Oh, he took her hand, you fucked up piece of shit. You're dead because of you. You're dead because you said you knew the way. Seems only fair that you join them, Alicia. Arnold, you're gonna die a very painful death. Right there, right there. <gasps> <gasps> yes, Paul! Yes! Oh my goodness. <gasps> he was about to kill him <gasps> and she got in the way no 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 Oh, this was intense. Thank you, Paul, for this. Come on, stop! It's just a stereo! No, it's not! It's the only thing that can drown it out. Drown what out? Her voice! Oh. I told her to stay on the radio with me. And it happened. That boy came crashing down with this horrible. High pitch wine. Did he scream? And everything just went. So he keeps hearing. That was the last thing I ever heard. Her scream. My Lord. Couldn't go on hearing any of this. I just can't. You? You couldn't possibly understand. She, she can. I can. Told you. How? So I have a voice I can't get rid of either. And I finally caught up to the walker and I turn around. And it was that same walker that bit me. And then he, he talked to me. It wasn't his voice, it was, it didn't belong to him, it was this static, but it, it told me to follow him to Padre. And so I did, and that's what I've been trying to do. And I made all these people believe in me. I, I told them I knew what I was doing, where I was going, and I didn't. You know, it was just a dream. You must have heard that voice for a reason. No, whatever it was, all these people died because of Wait, me. he's up to something. Hold on, hold on. Were well, you serious about what you said before? About me coming with you to that place you're trying to take over? I'd like to take you up on that. <gasps> Why? Because something tells me there's a reason I came across to you that bar. I think maybe we can help each other drown out what we don't want to hear. I couldn't even get you a stereo. That's a stereo right there. We got one right here. You got lucky. We need 
to stay away from me. No. I can't let you get hurt because of me. I won't. Look, Arnold, I follow her to the end of the world. Watch. Shut up, Alicia. If he doesn't find us here, he will go to your house and he will hurt you. This is why we need to be ready for him. I knew it. I knew it. I love him so much. You trust me? Yes. Alicia looks like she's breaking that fever too. I don't know. If you're listening, if you can hear me, I'm sorry about the mishap back there. She turned on me too. The problem you got? Already helped us out. My house after dark. Oh, Paul, you're so smart! Oh my God! Yes. Wait, what is he up to? Mm. Shit's about to go down, y'all. He better not die. Oh my god. You don't have to do this. The sooner I'll help you take him out, the sooner you can get back to your people. And you should keep listening to the voice when you dream. Uh huh. Why? Nobody ever makes great music in maintaining others. It's gotta come from you. Mm hmm Maybe that's why it didn't work out before. She was following some- Because you thought somebody else was trying to tell you what to do. That voice, maybe it's you. So listen to it. Because if you don't, might be like him. You owe it to yourself. Paul, you're a smart you man. What you want to help. Pretty soon. It's going to get loud. Oh, we're having a party. Oh. Come on out, Alicia. Get someone else hurt. I'm sure she doesn't sneak out the back. Max volume. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. And that is gonna be smashed into smithereens. Come on, Alicia. <laughs> oh, he's taking the bagpipes. He better not die. Oh shit. Paul, please. No, 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 no. <gasps> no, 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 No. It's not. We'll get out of here. You will. No. I'm not leaving you here. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You got here because of me. Okay, because I said I'd take you somewhere soon. I would have followed you where that may have been. So they. Please, I don't want to lose him. Come on. I thought it 
is the one I care about. I won't make that same mistake again. He took a piece of skin and put it on the bag pipe. No. No. That's it. I want this man dead. Dead, I tell you, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, Paul, you're going to be missed. You again. Who's this? It's a kid. Are you okay? What if that's little Alicia? Not again. You can help me. Maybe I can help you. Here we go again. Wait. Wait. Oh, shit. Alicia. And she looks healthier. Oh my God. Who's the little girl? What if it's Kid Alicia? Like, I don't know. Marie. Showed up here last night. She collapsed before we could get you inside. What? Yeah. Where is she? Don't. The little girl. The girl. What girl? The one who brought me here. You were alone when we found her. I had a dream. When I was in the bunker, after I cut it off. Had a dream. And my favorite was, at its worst, there was this voice, and I thought it was telling me the walk would lead us there. I thought it was coming from Padre. But it was coming from where? Me. If my mom had her dream, Nick had his, you have yours. I've always had such strong voices around me, I've never stopped to really listen to mine. Oh, my goodness. But I am now. So where will you go? The bunker. There's a working transmitter down there and I need it to reach people. Because that walker, I thought it would lead us to Padre. But I was wrong. Because I don't think Padre even exists. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of people out there like me who are looking for it. We're looking for a place like it. You can't lead people to a place that doesn't exist. I know. But I can lead them to us. To us? Like... You're going to become Padre? I'm going to give them what they want. A safe place to live. And that's how we get our army. That's how we take the tower from strength. Oh, Alicia, I like the way you're thinking. I should come with you. Just be ready. So we're losing Alicia again. He got bit! Right? Or is that a gunshot? I've been I mean, there are. One of 
take the power for ourselves. So this was a very interesting episode. We finally get to figure out what's kind of going on in Alicia's head. Uh, thanks to Paul, we kind of broke it. And holy shit, Fear the Walking Dead loves to introduce us to characters and end up losing them just a couple seconds later. Um, I truly loved Paul's character. Um, I really wish he could have survived. Uh, now, Arnold... <laughs> You're gonna die a very painful, painful death for doing that to Paul. He was one of the coolest people I've met right now at this moment for this season. How dare you? Um, I'm really digging this um, mid-season pr uh, premiere. It, it's kind of different, but I enjoy of what it's gonna lead us into obviously to the future of the season. Alicia needs to figure out um, how to become a leader of her own, uh, combining the words of wisdom from the people she's learned before, like Morgan, her mom, Nick, everyone she's known in the past. Put all this knowledge together and become the leader that you think is the best for yourself and for the people that you want to bring in. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter or just click on the links in the description. You already know the whole thing if you've been binge watching my reactions. And if you have been binge watching my reactions and you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. But other than that, I will see you guys for episode 10 of Fear the Walking Dead next week. Bye guys!